Okay, let's go ahead and review the two specific steps you need to take to find the percent of a number. So let's uh, use this as our example prom. Uh, let's say we want to find 6% of 127. So what is the answer? You, uh, you definitely probably uh, want to have your calculator out, but uh, most of you probably can do this problem. But what I'm interested in is for uh, you to break down what you're doing. Okay, now you're like, oh, I know how to do this. I know I can get this answer right. But break down, okay, as if you were going to teach someone, okay? In other words, let's say you had to give a, a little mini class on how to find a percent of a number. What would be the steps? What would be your little mini lesson? Okay, what would be, what would be step one? And what would be step two? And then, you know, kind of think about what you need to teach a person that, you know, wasn't familiar on how to find uh, the percent of a number. So hopefully this is review for most of you out there. But if a lot of you for, totally forgot how to do this, um, well, stick around. You're going to relearn. I'm pretty sure you've learned this somewhere in your background. But this is not that difficult. Again, uh, you probably want to have a calculator um, uh, around to help you out with this stuff. But percent is critical, okay? When people, you know, say, hey, what am I ever going to use math in real life? You know, I'm not going to need this and that. Well, I'll tell you what, this symbol right here, if you just look around, it's absolutely everywhere, okay? You go to the store, you know, you see it. You open your mail, you see it. You know, your credit card interest, your loans, you watch the news. Oh, the inflation is this percent. Home, home sales, you know, are increasing this percent or decreasing this percent, whatever the case is, this symbol's everywhere. So it's a good idea for uh, you to really kind of understand it. And the first step to understanding percent is to understand uh, very simple problems like finding the percent of a number. So uh, again, I want you to break this down into two steps, two or three steps. Put that into your comment section. You know, you could just be real quick sentences. How would you teach this stuff? And that's really the hallmark of whether you know something. If you really truly have mastered something, you can teach it. Okay, so yeah, maybe you can find uh, the answer, all right? But you know, do you know exactly you know what you're doing and why you're doing it? So we're gonna get into all this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you're having a difficult time in math, maybe you've always struggled with math. I'm tell you, I'm going to tell you right now, I never met a bad math student. Okay, I met students that you know may not really want to work hard in math or kind of you know didn't have the desire to do well. But that didn't mean that they were a bad math student. Okay, so as long as you are willing to put in the work, what you need to be successful in math is the right instruction. Okay, so I've been teaching math for decades, and I really like to think of myself as explaining math. I don't like to teach it like a textbook. I like to break things down in super clear and understandable ways so anyone and everyone can learn this stuff. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, I can definitely help you out. Now, if you're preparing for any kind of test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, uh, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACE, or CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you happen to be homeschooling, uh, you definitely want to check out my homeschool math courses. It was just voted number one for middle and high school mathematics by a major homeschool uh, publication. Uh, very excited about that. And if you don't have any math notes, you can use mine. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But if you are a math student, you have to learn how to take great math notes. You cannot get excellent grades in math without having great math notes. Okay, so let's get into this. Hopefully you um, put some stuff into the comment section. If you didn't do that, as long as you kind of mentally thought about this for a second, that's what really counts. But let's get into it, okay? All right, so finding the percent of a number. Now, there's other type of more, of more advanced percent problems, and I have a lot of different videos on percent. Uh, but if you really want to kind of learn percent with me in a kind of in a broader context, I have two suggestions. I have a foundations math course that goes through a lot of basic elementary level math to include percent. And uh, I also teach this very thoroughly in my pre-algebra course and even in my algebra course as well. But here is our problem, 6% of 127. So what is the first step? Well, the first step is we want to uh, write... Uh, our percent, we want to change that percent and write it as a decimal. That's the ver first thing you need to do. And this is typically the part that confuses students. So how do we do this? Well, there's um, 
there's two ways we can approach it, okay? So let's just write the answer here. So 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06. So if you know, uh, if you knew that, uh, that, that you can write 6% as a decimal as 0 0.06, that's very, very good, okay? But how do we get to that answer? Well, there's two things that are really kind of going on here. I could take that 6%, that 6, and if I divide it by 100, okay, I go from percent to a decimal. So just take that percent, whatever it is, it could be 36.8%, doesn't make a difference. If I just divide it by 100, and I'm going to have that decimal 0.06. Okay, so that's how you that's how you get the answer. But there's another uh, very common way to change a percent into a decimal. So let's take a look at uh, 6%, but well, let's write it this way, 6.0%. Now, I wrote this specifically 6.0% because I wanted to identify where the decimal point is at. Okay, so 6% or 6, right? 6 is the same thing as 6.0, but I'm just writing that 6.0 so we can know that, hey, yeah, you know, just because you have a number 6, if I said, where's the decimal point? Well, it's right there. We just don't write it there, okay? All right, so what um, a lot of you out there probably remember from school is that if you are going from a percent to a decimal, what you can do is move the decimal point two places to the left, okay? And when I do that, you can see I have a little um, uh, open space right there. Well, that's where zero goes. Now we have 0 0.06, okay? So you can just take your number six, uh, 6 6.0 and just move that decimal point two places to the left and drop the percent symbol, and that's how you can go from percent to decimal, okay? So 6%, all right, first uh, step one is to write that percent as a decimal. You can see it's gonna be 0 0.06, either divide by 100 or move that decimal point two places to the left, and you will have uh, been successful with step one. Okay, so what do we do with that? Well, step two is we're gonna take that uh, decimal, okay, we went from, a percent to a decimal, we're gonna multiply that decimal, in this case, again, it's 0 0.06, by the number, okay? The number we're talking about here is 127. Remember, we wanna find 6% of 127. So uh, after we got our, uh, changed our percent to a decimal, we're gonna multiply by the number, and this is where your calculator comes in handy. So 0 0.06 times 127, we get 7.62, and this is the answer, okay? Now, I bet you most of you out there got this right. All right, so that's excellent. And if you got that right, let me go ahead and give you a smiley face. Typically, I like to throw in a little flat top uh, and a little mohawk, but you know what? I don't want to, you know, uh, do that just yet. But I will give you a nice happy face. Matter of fact, I'll give you a little A+. Plus. That's a nice job. Okay, it shows, you, it shows me that you know how to find a percent of a number. Good job. But what's even more impressive, okay, is if you wrote out two uh, your steps, okay, if you participate and you said, all right, the first thing you would do is this, the second thing you would do with this, could you teach this to someone? Did you write that out, okay? Could you have a basic game plan? It may not be exactly like mine, but these are the basic uh, foundational steps because, again, if you can teach something, that means you really know it, okay? So if you were able to do that, well, then I got to go ahead and throw in that good old 1983 uh, Mohawk haircut, and if you're around in the 80s, you know that people actually wore their hair like that. Not everybody, thank goodness, because that just required too much hairspray. But, you know, that was pretty cool, okay? Pretty impressive, just like your ability to do this prom. Nice job, okay? All right, so again, uh, this is just ba a basic type of percent prom. There are more challenging percent proms, and you need to know those as well. But, you know, first things first, first things is to master how to find a percent of a number. And hopefully this video helped you out. And if that is the case, consider helping me out by smashing that like button and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math, not calculus, and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of uh, all those videos that I've made. I made them for you. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.